Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with Cadoodle Big Designs and today we're going to be doing the Cutie Cadoodles uh, Witchy Poo Cow and she is super cute, you guys. I just couldn't wait to do the video on this. Um, I Today I've been working on videos all day. I did the two part on the girl elf. Um, I did, ooh, which other one did I do when I'm uploading now? Oh, I did the freebie, so that one's going up, or it should already be up. By the time this goes up, that one should have already been up. So anyway, she's super cute. I just love her. And so I'm going to show you um, what I did and the layering process and the eyes. The eyes were super fun on her. So first I want to go over, she measures three and a quarter high by three eighths wide and if you're using design space I basically did the box with all the pieces inside uh, 7.35 by 9.21 so that's the, how I got the size of her and I do have videos showing you know if there's a backer piece how to um, size by doing that um, but mostly I'll just try to give you the size sometimes I forget so sorry okay so a lot of the cardstock I used in here is American Crafts. I just pulled from my files. Um, so I probably won't go over those colors, but I will tell you the colors I used and we'll distress a few pieces. Most is already prepped. Um, oops, and I did forget to prep this, but anyways. So the way I separate my pieces, if you're new to um doing the svgs and you want an easy way to kind of bring them into your area where you're going to work what i do is i i'll have a picture or like let's say she is the photo so we know the pumpkin i put the pumpkin here the hat pieces here uh the bows here so all the pieces here's the face with all the pieces you know, you don't have to put them on top. You can move them to the side. But just to kind of show you, it just really makes things go smoothly. The eyes are here. There's the ears. There's one of the legs with all the little pieces. Here's the foot here, the body. And she's only going to have one piece. I'm not going to put all the pieces that cut out on her. Um, and so that's kind of what I do. So now we can go to all the pieces. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first off, I did the eyes. And um, a lot of times if you're a card maker or if you scrapbook, if you keep a lot of your small pieces, especially with the eyes, um, the cutie catoodles, you can keep a really tiny piece of cardstock, like small, and cut your eyes out. And so I always just keep scraps and I put them in the file. So on that one, I use Soft Sky. And that's an old one, but you can use any blues um, that you choose. So the next color I used is, of course, another one of my favorites, the Certainly Celery. Um, this one is a nice color. There's a lot of nice greens out there. So for the little bow pieces, all I do is push down on them and get them real dark. So that way they stand out um, when we go to glue those on. And then we can just move that over. And hopefully I don't lose any pieces. And so for this piece here, I'm just going to get those edges done up. So you can use the flat one. You can hold this in your hand, put this down on the tray. It uh, It's really up to you. My hands are so dirty from, I've done so many uh, pieces today <laughs> that even scrubbing them and whatever, I've still got ink. It seems like I just can't get it off of my hands right now. So I've just been trying to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I figured if I get all my paper pieces done, the videos I wanted to do, I can do, I want to work on, and I've been promising to do um, some treat boxes, which I do have some of them prepped. I just need to finish the prepping. So I'm hoping to get that at least one of them done this week. And so I'm just going to do the bow for um, the little 
uh, pumpkins, little witch hat here. And so I'm just kind of pushing in. You can use, again, if you have a rounder or whatever you use um, to distress, uh, works just fine. So that's our green. We have the little tongue for the mouth. And I'm just going to use pink Pirouette. I'm just using a light uh, pink on this. It's one of Stampin' Up's real old colors. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so I think I've got all those done. So next we can move on. Let's go ahead and do, there's not too many of this one to do left. So this one's Pixie Pink. And... We're gonna use that to do the little inner part of the ear. And I'm just using the round dauber. So for the little bow pieces, I just pounce down on those. We're gonna add um, some kind of glitter to those and dress them up a little bit. And Oops, I think we'll just add a little more. Okay, and then I just use rubbing alcohol to clean my work area. And spray some on my hands. Okay, so we're done with the pink. I've already done the little band for the hat. I just went across the top and then the bottom um, for that. Because we're going to, like you can see here, I used some stuff on it. Um, so the next thing we want to do is let's grab the purple. So I used the dusty Concord, Concord, <laughs> I can talk. Uh, I tell you, it's been a long day. I don't even know what time it is now, but I can tell you it's got to be afternoon. Oh, uh, cause I already had lunch earlier. So anyways, we're going to use that for the hat. And so I'm just using this one cause you can really kind of just go in the circular motion and get that uh, defined edge there, you know, with your color. And then we could always come in very light and do some shading. And so that's the nice thing about doing the daubers. Um. Alrighty, sorry you guys. Okay, so there's that one. And I think I've got all these pieces done. All I did with those, I'm just gonna grab one right here. It's pretty much done. I just kind of held these down. And then you can kind of just come in with the ink part that's kind of up. And then just go along the edge and do the circular. And so there you have it. That's just an extra piece. They come, you know, there's a lot of pieces you can use. I figured why put them all over the body when you're only going to see the one piece. So I kind of just didn't use them all. Okay, so I think I've done all the purple pieces because all these are ready for us. So I can move that aside now. So the next step would be let's do the orange because I'm going to save the black for last. Okay, so we've got our orange and this is the spice marmalade. There's a, a lot of really nice oranges out there. Um, Stampin' Up had a really nice one that I usually use. So for this pumpkin, we're really only going to see um, the edge here and in part of the bottom. So what I do is I'm just going to do what we're going to see. Okay. So you can go dark, light. And then on this side, I'm going to just continue and do pretty much the same. Even though some of it's covered up, I just figured, you know what, let's just kind of repeat that and, and do like so. Okay, now on this piece here, we're going to see most of the sides and the bottom. So I, I'll just come from the top and I'm just kind of 
doing long strokes down and then if you need to come in any to shade um, you can and I just do the circular motion it, it really goes by pretty quick when you're not doing a video uh, it's amazing how how fast I can ink up these pieces but I don't know I feel like I'm I'm really slow when I do videos <laughs> I don't know if it's my, like, thinking and making sure I'm doing everything and I don't forget anything. Even though it's all right in front of me, you you just, sometimes you never know. So, anyways. <laughs> so, I've got the pumpkin done. I think that's all the orange we have. Um, Let's just kind of wipe that a little bit because we're going to go on to this uh, black here. So, we're using uh, the black distressed ink. And I'll just kind of ink this up. I probably could have picked the round, uh, rounded dauber, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do the little foot here. And so we've got that one kind of done. Okay. So we have that one done. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. Okay, and then we have this, the little hoof part on her, the one leg that she has. And this is where I like when you can really just put the pieces down. Okay, and Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, we do have these pieces here okay so really on this piece here we're only going to see that bottom part where the tongue is so that's it and then this part we really want to do so and it really you can go dark or um do a real light and All right, so we have that one done. And I did one of the little horns and just do up the sides and to the top. You can kind of pounce in on that. Okay, and then we do have the little pieces for the pumpkin's face. And again, I just kind of come around that edge Okay, there's one. And the spider will leave because I cut the spider out. So when I want to distress pieces that are going to be black and I want them to show, I'll cut out a really dark gray. So this is a dark gray uh, from uh, American Crafts. And that way you can see the shadowing. And I don't know that you'll necessarily see on here, but... I'll have to show you up close. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Okay, so we've got that. And then the nose, just kind of do. Just very light. I did one side kind of uh, really dark. Okay, I think I've got all the pieces done here. So let me spritz my hands and see if I can get as much of that off as I can. All right. Okay, you guys. So we're ready to start. Mm. I needed water. Sorry. We're ready to start piecing. We've got all our pieces done. So um, the first thing I want to do is do these bows. I want to get them put together and set them aside. Whoops. So all I'm going to do... is just add a little glue here. And whoops, obviously you couldn't even see that because I wasn't in frame. That's the one thing that's good about being able to see um, what I'm doing. And that way I can make sure you could see. 
Oh, where'd the pink? I swear I'll lose it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside. Now, on the center, I'm going to use Stickles Fruit Punch. And this is going to just let this dry. So if we get these done right now, we can set them aside. Let's smash that a little flatter. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do this one here. And we can get all the pieces. And, whoops. I try not to put too much. When I put too much glue, it ends up everywhere. <laughs> Okay, and so we'll get a little bit of that fruit punch on there. And now those can just set and dry. Okay, and so um, let's go ahead and get the spider. Oh, I'm wondering if we should do... We can do the spider on the bow. Okay, so let's get this one on here. And then we'll set him aside too. And so on this one here, I used here it is. So this this one here is ice stickles, and since it's um, oh, I have to grab those pliers. Let's see. So I have to pull this top off. And I can get inside here. Whoops. Um, let me just grab some of this. So I just took an old brush. If I can find it now. Oh my. Uh, I forgot to leave it. There it is. It's kind of hiding. So I just took. And kind of moved it around on here. This one, because it's the iced one, it has like uh, thicker pieces of glitter in it. So it really makes it look quite neat, I thought. Whoops. And so we'll just let that dry. Okay, and then I can just put this back in here. Sometimes when they're old, this, I've had this one for, oh my gosh, if I said uh 13 years i've probably had it longer uh so there's not a whole lot left in it i just tend to use a lot of the stickles so um i'll go ahead and write down what i've used that way you'll know um just in case i know sometimes um me saying it or showing it and i'm not sure you know i haven't replaced the iced ones yet um, okay, so that's really, it looks just really neat once it's done. Okay, um, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and let's get the hat, um, little piece on here. And then that way we can say the hat's ready. Okay, and on this one here, I did use the fruit punch again. Um, I just push a little bit out and then kind of move it around with the tip. That way, on this one here. There we go. All right, and so we'll put that one aside. Actually, let's go ahead and do the highlighting on it. So I just did a little bit and then... And then on the bottom here, I just kind of did the little swoops and, and like so. Okay, 
So we can put the hat aside now too, cause that one's ready. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is um, let's go ahead and do the, start putting the pieces together. So we wanna get our horns on. Those are gonna be our first layer here. And so we'll just get these on. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we're going to put the little ears on. Oh, you know what I did forget to do, you guys? I forgot to show you. We're going to do that now. So on the white pieces, I did use a Starlight Silver. That's that one. And because I haven't put this, let's just, I just pounced that one in once. Now this one, okay, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to do that. See, I knew I forgot something. All right. We'll, we'll get it done. Okay, so I guess as we're going, I guess I'll be doing those. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Okay, so we don't need to do all of that. Okay, so this piece here looks like it's going to go right about here. Okay. So you can kind of lift it up just to make sure... You're meeting that edge. Okay. All right. Oops. Okay. So now we want to put these little pink inner ears, right? Might as well get those on. Okay, so I got that part. So we got the ears. We're gonna do the body next. So let's get this body done really quick. So um, really, you know what? We're not even gonna see the body. So I think there's a little spot right down at the bottom. We may see. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this body on here. So we know the arm is, um, oops, let's hopefully, okay, so we know that arm goes right about there. So there's the body. So I just put the body, hopefully you can see that. Um, and really, I shouldn't even worry about any of this because you won't see any of that. And I do, I have stuff all over my hands. So it's like, I think it's just coming off on that white. Well, when you're doing this at home, you'll be able to wash in between. Um, okay, hopefully. Anyway, so let me put, I want a piece of the purple for right here. And that way you may see a little bit of that. Okay. So we've got the body. Now we're going to do the head and do the spots for the head. Where did I put the head? Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have waited and not did the video today. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Okay, so we'll just get this done up a little bit. So really, we're gonna see um, kind of just all that, and then probably right about there. Okay, because we'll add a little pink. So I'm gonna add this head on. So I just add some glue. All right, wipe my hand. 
bronze again. So we do want to get the spots on the face. We want to get these on here. So we know there's one here and we know there's one about up here. And then we have one that's right about there. And so sometimes I'll just add the glue. Okay, so those are the ones that go there. I'm thinking this one can go right there. Okay, and then we want one right here. So we're going to push that down without getting the glue to come out. Oh, this may have been... Oh, did I have two of the same ones? Oh, well. Let's see what I've got. I had some leftovers from the other, so... We'll kind of just move this one down a bit, right? Okay. All right. So we've got the head and the spots. And now we're going to go ahead and put that muzzle together and um, get it on. And then we'll get the eyes on and then we can do all those. So we're going to put the little mouth on here. Or the little mouth. We're going to put the little tongue <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to put this piece on top. So if you're watching from a cell phone, you can make sure to do full screen. Click the little white button in that corner so that way you don't miss anything. I may zoom out a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. All right. We have the little nostril pieces that we want to put on here too so we might as well get these on right there we go and this one looks like it kind of tore when it came off the mat sometimes that happens so this was probably a little thicker cardstock okay there we go all right so we've got that i'm just gonna add the little highlighting now there's a couple little dots okay so we're gonna go ahead and do up the cheeks a little bit we're gonna use a little chalk um some pink and this is just the Stampin' Up! Pastels. It's a chalk. Um, I'm going to just put a little bit for these cheeks kind of right here. So you can kind of see a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on and leave room for those eyes to tuck in. So we can try to center that and bring it down. And then we know the eyes go right about here and there. And that one. Should put that blue on though. Let's grab that really quick. Okay. There we go. All right, now we can get this one to go in too. So I kind of tucked these down quite a bit. Um, you don't have to go down that far with them. This one probably could come in a little bit. Okay, let's see. There, 
whoops I noticed that was kind of there we go okay I'm thinking that's probably looking pretty good we'll cover up these little indentations usually I'm better not um oops I try not to push too hard on the pieces you're gonna see um Okay. Oh, see, we see the glue coming out. All right. So we can just leave those. There we go. All right. So let's see. Let me see how I like that. All right. So now I want to do some of the shading with um, some of the color. I'm going to use a black and I'm going to come in with a purple too. So I'm just going to shade down here and come up. So, and then just kind of blow off any excess. And then same thing, I can. And then if you feel like you got too much, you can just kind of come in and erase. Okay. Hopefully I don't have any glue. It's the only thing, because if you've got glue there when you're using the Micron pen, it will it will ruin them. I have, I, I can't tell you how many of mine I've ruined already. Um, even thinking that I've got it, you know, the glue, I usually think I have it taken care of and nope. Okay. We're going to do the eyelashes. We're going to go with a zero, zero, 003. Hopefully this one works. So really on the eyelashes, you guys, if you want to curl, you can curl. If you want to straight, you can go straight with them. Um, I find that it's kind of a preference to whatever you're liking. So that's the 003. So I do have a 005 as well. And so I can come back in. Hey, this may be the one that I ruined. I try to keep them all out. Oh, whoops. Okay. Now we're going to do the eyeliner on this one. So, yeah, see, I can feel right there. Okay. Let's just do this one now. Hopefully. Uh oh. Oh no, yeah, see this one, I, I may have, there we go, boy. All right, okay, so let's do some eyelashes with the zero. This is the zero. Whoops. I think this one's the zero, zero, three that I'm using and then there we go and I can come in with the 005 and darken up if I need yeah I think it's good when you can whoops there Oh, yeah, that's a mess right there. Oh, well. Okay, let me see if I can bring in some of the color, the black. So we're going to go with this. Kind of just shade. And same with that side. And then I want to bring in some purple, too. So I've got the purple up here and then just kind of blow off 
any excess. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully. Oh. All right, so we can go ahead and add our white dots, even though we're going to do glossy accents on this one. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just get some of the highlights on whatever. Okay. So we've got the head and the spots on. I'm hoping we've got everything done on there. Um, <laughs> we've got the muzzle and we've got the eyes and we did the face. We could do the top hair. So we're going to put this little hair piece on. So there we go. Okay, and then um, we'll do the bows. We can put those on now. And these should be dried. So I'm just gonna add glue to the back of them. And we can kind of try to get those. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and I didn't do the highlights on this. There we go. All right. And then we have one more bow. And I swear there was a hair right there. There we go. Cute. She is so cute. I just love the little cutie catoodles. Let me see if I can add. Oh, that may be dark. Okay. All right. So we've got the top hair, the bows. Now we can do the pumpkin. So we're going to get this pumpkin on next. And so the pumpkin kind of just goes right here you can kind of see the area it leaves a little white right here and that's for the center of that pumpkin so we're gonna put that on next and we're, we're almost done because we've got pretty much um pretty much got uh all our stuff done on this okay and we can go ahead and add this mouth here the nose our eyes those should be in the right spot <laughs> okay so and you know the mouth can go either way if you notice on her i've done it the opposite it it really doesn't matter it's kind of just fun to do them uh however There we go. Now this little eye over here, give him a little more glue. Oops. Ah. Okay. All right. Okay, that's cute. So the little hat. Hopefully I got it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we got the pumpkin. We'll get his little hat on. So I'm just going to put the glue on the back of the hat. And just get this to set on there nice, right? Without me making a big mess. <laughs> Yep. Let's see. Oh, I'm afraid to. There we go. Okay. 
All right, so that one's done. Let's get the bow um, right here. We'll get this one on. So he's probably gonna still be a little wet. Whoops. I'm doing so good, aren't I? All right, so we've got all that done. And so uh, the next thing we have is this foot here. Okay, and then this little arm. So on the arm, we're just gonna get those pieces on. Um, it looks like we have a piece here, possibly one there, and then the little one right there. And the good thing about this is you do have some extra pieces when you, so you can kind of play around and put them where you think you like them best. And I did forget to do the arm. <laughs> So we just need a little bit of that starlight silver. Probably didn't matter on the bottom because that's going to be covered. Let's see. Oops, there we go. All right. So, and then we'll just put this little bottom piece on and we'll finish up and we're, we're pretty much done here. Um, we just have the eyes to get the glossy accents on. Okay. Alrighty. I know uh, my mouth's so dry, I think, from talking so much today in all my videos. I swear, I just have so much going on this week. The appointments and such. So I really wanted to get these done and then uh, hopefully get to work on the other things. So um, let me do some little highlights. So I'm just gonna kinda do, and then the nose, and then we can do one here and there. Um, the hat's done, the ears are done. We've got one bow done. <laughs> And, and I think that's pretty much going to be it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do the eyes. I think I've got everything done here. Oh, nope. I like. Okay. So I just added some of those. And then, so the glossy accents, I always do that last for um the eyes that way they can dry and then you can always come back in with that posca paint pen and whoops so i just kind of squeeze this as i'm going and then just bring it in and then i'll just do this side so if you guys have any questions um you can drop those below i'll try to uh link uh, to her and um, oops, there you go and put um, any other information down below um, if you have any comments or questions you can drop those below as well if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos please follow um, I'm gonna have more of the SVGs coming out because I did several today so um, I hope you have a good day thanks for stopping by